Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we're going to make a interactive card. When you pull this out of the envelope, it looks a little on the boring side, but if you pull it open like this, you have another vision of the card, and then you open it up like this, and you have one here. I have used the coffee theme. This is breakfast in bed. And then one last turn, you open up the middle and you have a place where you can sign or write a little note on it. And then you have the colored papers. I have used basically three different papers and then some odd um, tags out of a, a paper package. And I don't know what the name of the paper package is because I've used most of it and just have a few of the pieces left. So let's see about making. The card is really very easy to make. It only has one difficult thing. And even then that's not too bad. First you take that, by the way, this is a six by six card. It fits into a six by six envelope. Today I'm gonna work with eight by eight and which you probably wouldn't use very much, but I thought I'd make one an eight by eight to see how it how it looks. And you have a fold here on the eight by eight. And by the way, I'll give you measurements for both both cards in the description. On my eight by eight, I have it scored at two and six. I took two sheets of cardstock and I cut them eight by eight you can see like this, and then I cut them in half. Then I scored each piece, because you end up with four pieces when you cut it in half, and I score all four pieces at two and six inches. So let me fold this one so it'll be ready. As I said, it's really very easy. This is the most difficult part of the, of the whole thing. I'm gonna put my two pieces like this. I'm gonna turn two pieces like this. Now, I'm gonna take my tape, and this is two-sided tape, and I'm gonna take the corner here with two pieces of a half-inch tape. So basically, I'm taping an inch of it. And I'm gonna do this on both sides. So give me a second, and let me put the tape down. First, I've got to get me some scissors. I forgot. This is the tape that I can't tear. Okay, let's see. Here's a pair of scissors right over here. Okay. Put one piece down. And I'm using the red liner tape so that you can see where I'm taping. I have some of the white, but on the white cardstock, it would be hard for you to see. I'm putting two pieces in the, I'm doing it on both sides of the scoring line. In other words, on the outer edges of the two scoring, scored uh, spots. Usually this is pretty easy to find the end, hold on. And I wanna make sure I don't go over the scored line. Okay, now this one is ready. I'm gonna put it down like this and the uh, part that have the tape are on this side. I'm gonna pick this one up. This is where it's taped on the other piece, but this one I'm gonna tape on the opposite side. I'll do the very same thing.
Hope I'm still in, in view of the camera. Now this is the main thing that you have to remember with this card is where you're putting the tape. This one, the tape is on the, on what I'd call the top side. This one, the tape is on the bottom side. I'm gonna slide them over just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take these two pieces. Since this one's taped at the top side, I'm gonna take my um, piece of red off the tape. Let's take a second. and didn't want to come off. The whole, the whole thing was to come off on this one. Let me see what I can do. There we go. Keeps, keeps flipping out of my fingers. Okay, now we have it. I've got the tape at the top. I'm gonna to pick this up. I've got it red all over. Okay, and I'm gonna match it up right at the corner of this one. And then I'm gonna take this one and match it up at the corner here. As I said, this is the the hardest thing of the, the whole card is getting this to line up because you don't want it to overlap. You see right now, mine is not overlapping. Okay, now we take the one that's taped at the bottom Take the tape off of all four pieces of tape off. As I said, this is half an inch tape, so it's basically an inch that I've covered here. Now, this one's at the top, so this one, I'm gonna turn it around so I can work with it and it won't be backwards to me. I'm gonna take this and put it at this corner And then I'm gonna take this piece and put it at this corner. There we go. Next thing, you wanna press it down and make sure everything matches. Make sure they, they don't overlap. Then you open it up and you take your bone folder and press this down. Press this side down. Then turn it around a quarter of a turn and open it up and flip it out and press this down. And one last turn, 
flip it over, and there you go. You got your basic card again. Now, that's your card. The only thing you have to do now is decorate it. And so I'm not gonna talk now so I can kind of fast forward and show you what I'm, how I'm gonna decorate this. Okay, this is my last piece that I have to put on. Now, what I will probably do is go around and see what I can find as photos. And let's let's look at that this while we're at it. Um, when you do stripes, make sure both of them are on the same page and going the same way. Uh, this particular one, I wanted my brown stripe separated going this you know in reverse and then on this one uh my stripes are going together and i play i planned that on purpose now let's go back to the main shall we say the main page and sometimes it's hard to figure out which one is the main one but i think if we Open it up, that's number four. And this is our main page right here. Now I found this in my, um, with my pad of paper. And uh, so I just cut it apart. It said, let the good times roll. Well, obviously I didn't have enough space to put that. So I'm gonna put it here like this. And we'll put the other one on the other side. And this is why I said I think I'll find, look and see if I can find some photos to put on my other pages showing having good time. There we go here. The most time consuming thing is cutting the papers. 
And I, as I said, I will have the two sizes, the um, measurements for the two sizes in my description. And here is the, my red tape wants to stick to everything. Okay, and here's my small one. It's a six by six, and it will fit in a six by six envelope. This one, I'd have to make an envelope or just give it to someone. And it will sit up, both cards will sit up. And I just, right now, I don't have any pictures to put on this like I did here. I, since this one has a coffee theme, I had a couple pictures of coffee and, and a bun and all, and uh, decided to put that on there. But I'm gonna have to look and find some pictures to put on this. But this is an easy card to do. And, wait a minute, my glue hasn't dried and so my sign moved on me here. Give me just a second. Let me see if I've got it about straight. I think so, it looks looks pretty straight. And it's a pretty large card, but if you have some pictures that you wanna use, um, this is a good, a good card for it. And as I say, you just keep turning it around and you have, if you want to, you can use entirely different pa uh, papers on each side. But I chose to use all matching papers from one particular pad that I had. And so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This, this is a never ending or an interactive uh, greeting card. And uh, it's fun to do, it's easy to do. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you will, please subscribe. Hey, and don't forget to come back and see me next time. I really have something interesting for next time. Hope to see you then. Have a great crafting day. Bye.